right here, right now. The Memphis Barbecue Tour on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Next on the Memphis Barbecue Tour. Order a rack of ribs for two. Huge slabs of ribs. Ribs are the best. A dry rub is fantastic. Just down the road from Graceland. You don't see a lot of locals at Graceland, but you see a lot of locals here at Marlowe. Usually on Triple D, you see me cruising that sweet red Camaro, but not this time. It's a pink limo, baby, because the next stop on our Memphis barbecue tour is such a great local attraction, they're running a fleet of these things. You see, for a lot of folks, a trip to Memphis means first you hit Graceland, then you come here to Marlowe's. I've been to North Carolina, Kansas City. I like the taste of this the best. I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Is it a tourist joint or is it a local joint? It's both. I'm a local. You don't see a lot of locals at Grayson, but you see a lot of locals here at Marlowe's. Because whoever's eating it, this is Memphis legit. Great Memphis barbecue has to have good smoke. It's got to have a good depth to it. Real low and slow to pretty much have along the day. And it's got to have a good dry rub on top of it. Barbecuing is a technique, not a sauce. The sauce has to complement the technique. Best barbecue in the world. Is it? Oh, absolutely. Order a rack of ribs for two. They're doing it all. Food is delicious. The ribs are the best. Barbecue chicken, absolutely delicious like I like it. Great beef brisket. Barbecue pork dinner. It's always tender. Like some other Memphis joints, they're even pairing barbecue with spaghetti. I just know it's delicious. But this place has an Italian history to go with it. I put a little bit of garlic in everything. You see, Tony Gelati first opened Marlowe's as a mostly Italian restaurant. But over the years, he turned more and more to what Memphis loves most. Full rack of ribs. And now he and his daughter, Missy. Hey, Dad. Packing them into what's become a Memphis barbecue favorite. It's almost like an institution. If you want good barbecue, you come to Marlowe's. They just got their own flavor and own taste. That starts with the dry rub manager Chris Nielsen is making. This is seasoning yeah. salt. That's seasoning salt. Seasoning salt. Uh, there's two other things in there. So seasoned salt, two things you're not going to tell me. We're going to add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. A little chili powder. some chili powder in here. Garlic, lots of garlic. Got Italians in here. We're going to use garlic. Of course, this is our Cajun season. Of course. It's got white pepper, black pepper, and it's what you use, you know, Cajun food kind of stuff. A little cumin in that? Not a little bit of cumin. I see you're right on. We're going to put some pepper in there. Of course, some paprika. And a little bit of onion powder. We're going to put a lid on here. They use the rub on everything here. But the top dog at this joint is... The ribs. The half a rack of ribs or a full rack if I'm real hungry. Always get the ribs. Get the full rack of ribs. Not only do I put them on, I rub it in because you need to break the fabric of the skin a little bit to get that flavor all the way through. We're cooking it for 12 hours. In 12 hours, these Now, you're going to cook a rack for 12 hours. At what temperature? 225 degrees. Is there anything left in 12 hours? Uh, you watch and see. This is the old hickory? This is the old hickory machine. Now, what kind of wood are we using? The only wood to use, fruit wood. We fruit use wood. apple wood. So it puts a little moisture on there? 50% apple, 50% water, and it just gives it a, gives it some moisture to it. Plus, it gives it that little sweet apple flavor to it. Now, we're not going to put sauce on them. Not now. Not until we take them out. That rack. You got it. Pulls off the bone nicely. A dry rub is fantastic. Nice and tender. Tender as a woman's heart. I taste the uh, smoke seasoning from the slow cooking, the sweetness in the sauce. I like it because it was Elvis's favorite, that that was his favorite barbecue sauce. We actually used the recipe that we did to start with that we got from one of Elvis's cooks, and we worked with it and got a recipe that we like. All right, we're going to start with some tomato sauce. We're going to add some lemon juice, orange juice. Honey? Is it a little bit of honey. Syrup? Like waffle syrup? Yeah, like waffle syrup. <laughs> Isn't that good? Now some moonshine? A little bit of moonshine. Oh, this is vinegar. Put some molasses in there. Oh. We need to add a little bit of kick to it. No, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not too much. No, I'm just over here. Yeah. And then we're going to add one box of brown sugar, a little bit of chili powder in there. You think a little? Yeah, a little bit. We got to add a little flavor, a little height. It's hot you to think? a little burn. What is it? Uh, hey, this is... Let me uh, just taste it. I just want to taste it. All right, you can taste it. Wow. That's got some tang. We're going to let it go for a good 45 minutes, simmer down. It's all ready to go. Just grab this, a little mop. That's it. Here you go. Oh, that's not going to be bad. Mm. Sauce good. Excellent. Nice tang. Not too sweet. Oh, that's got a punch. Mm. 
Just the uh, the sauce and the spices and everything, I love it. Of course, I love to get it all over me, too. If you're gonna get ribs, you gotta have a mask. What a nice experience in barbecue. And sometimes when you come to a place like this, you think, wow, well, you know, they can get all their hype and energy off of the theme and being so close to Graceland. They really have to do the real deal in the food. And uh, you guys are doing a really nice job. You can hit every workplace around here, but you'll only get this taste here. It don't taste like everybody else's barbecue. The Elvis fans that come in here, the locals, they come here because Marlowe's has been a, a home place for all of them for years. Back when I was a kid, I was I, I came here a long time ago with my father. When I saw the Graceland sign, I said, man, I got to go back to that place. Has anybody ever told you, you look like my fifth grade school teacher? I mean, you look... Don't be cruel, man. <laughs> He's got the door locked.